Hey guys, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions. I've had a couple questions lately um, about how to preserve this the insides of like your uh, letters and numbers. Um, this usually only happens when you're trying to join it to something. Uh, you're trying to weld it all together. Let me show you here. I don't have to be perfect with this because I'm not actually going to save it for anything. So let's say this is your little file here and you want to weld it all together and make it nice and pretty and all attached. Dang nabbit, that four just really got a little ugly. Okay, you don't want that to happen. So this is what you want to do. We're going to back this four out here. Come up here to path. Hang on. Just did its funky little thing again. You're going to hit ungroup, okay, so that this inside is separate. All right. It's kind of tricky. Then come up here to path and exclude. Give it time to work. Okay, so now it's all together. Now. We'll put this back up there. Bring this back around. Come back up to path in union. And you can do this with any number, any um, letter that has the swirls, any one that has a space that is enclosed. So any um, you know letter that has a swirl that is actually enclosed and is not open like this space right here how it's open that's fine this is open that's fine but this is enclosed anytime you hit a union that will knock that out because what that does is it wants to make it all one union it so that's how you go about avoiding that is to hit the exclude button when it's all separate so that way you don't have to worry about that I'm gonna go pull up the Samantha font because I know that one is infamous for doing it okay now here's the Samantha font and you see there is a lot of closed um, loops so all of these if you hit the union will disappear okay so this is the rare occasion that I use the weld button. All right, so I make sure that they're all touching, and then I come up here because right now it looks like it doesn't matter that they're all going to cut separately. Right? It looks like nothing happened when I click that weld button. Come up here and hit your preview button. And there it is. Beautiful. Okay, so that will cut or draw with the appropriate um, loops, circles, whatever you want to call it, the appropriate holes where they need to be, and they are joined appropriately. All right, so you will not get separate cuts if you use that weld, but it maintains the spaces in here. However, you do not want to go in here and be doing a whole lot of um, uh, breaking apart, ungrouping, regrouping, do this, do that, and I will show you exactly why. Um, if I come in here, oh look, I pull it apart, uh oh, that doesn't work, so I put it back. You know, I try this, I try that. Um, uh, you try pulling it this way, don't like it, you put it back, and then you come finally come back. You go to weld, sometimes it actually makes it disappear right there you see and I only did very little but it made it disappear so what you need to do is if this happens just go in erase all this because it does not matter what you do you cannot bring it back um, erase all of it or delete it um, go back in type it back up just um, come up here to object ungroup it so that you can nudge it together if they're not touching nudge it together go back highlight it all then click the weld and then save it but do not mess around with the file because it will um, make it so that when you weld it these disappear it's kind of a fickle program i know but at least you'll have it
All right. Thanks, guys.